Welcome back to another video. Today's review is focused on Animal Kingdom Season 6 Episode 11 entitled Hit and Run. And the official synopsis of this episode is Pope is sent to solitary confinement. Darren gets a visit from an old friend. Jay, Craig, and Darren figure out what to do about Pope. Julia confronts Baz. And before I give out my review, please like the video, subscribe, or comment or just watch the video and keep going on with your day. Episode 11 wasn't bad as it continues to set things up for the final two episodes and for this ultimate final job and everything else. So yeah, when it comes with the plot of this episode, the plot wasn't bad, although it was a flashback, but Baz is back. Scott Speedman returns as Baz as we finally get to see what caused Pope to go to prison for over two years before the series even started. And he was still a horrible individual. He was still just a piece of garbage and everything goes as basically Pope and Baz decided to rob this bank for over $80,000. Catherine is mentioned in here about how Pope was still acting all creepy towards her and it was just a mess, honestly. But long story short, though, Baz left Pope. Pope had to run like he was an Olympian. And then long story short, he gets caught. He takes those charges and he is gone for two years. But I, but I would say that after this episode, Pope has finally gotten some sense. Like with all of the crazy medications, he somehow sees Baz and Spirit and they talk for a long time about their life, what went wrong, Smurf. And he just feels as if like he has to do this because he killed Catherine, but Baz reminds him that Smurf made him do it. And that Smurf made him do a lot of things, just like Smurf made the, the entire family just do all kinds of just different things. And honestly, I can see Detective Thompson coming back in the next episode because he asked for a phone call. I don't know if he's going to change his confession, like say something else or do something, but I'm definitely interested to see what is going to happen next with Pope. Um, meanwhile, Billy, he was back in here, of course. Darren asked him for his help about this crazy prison job. And when Billy finds out the true intentions about why he needs to get the officer's information, he basically tells him that leave Pope in jail. Don't trust Jay. Just go on on your own and stuff like that. And realistically, he is talking a lot of points like, leave Pope in jail. Like this man is crazy. This man's a murderer. Like what are y'all doing? But Billy definitely has some nerve to say that Jay is not to be trusted. Like you're a horrible father. You left your kids and everything goes. Jay stayed. So yeah, I'm just really concerned about this final job. I just think that something bad is definitely going to happen, of course. And it's just not going to end well for anybody. The entire family is doing everything that they possibly can to just get prepared for after this job because they are definitely going to be wanted fugitives. They definitely had to leave the United States for good, like passports, money, everything. Like Craig is going to meet up with Ren in Singapore. Um, Darren is definitely going to go to Indonesia to find Adrian. Jay is going to go somewhere. Of course, the money sums up to like 5.4 million, but I think it's a lot more and they are somewhat setting things up for like Jay to possibly turn on them after all this time. And I don't know. I don't know at this point. The Jay and Penny segment was just okay. Penny's husband now knows about Jay and Penny's relationship. And I just hope that it ends quickly. Like either the husband is going to be that crazy type, try to kill Jay or try to kill the both of them. Or Jay is going to kill them or something else. Like something's got to give between those two and this whole ordeal, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, this was just crazy in my opinion. 
it was nice to see Baz come back in here and just all that happens. Um, the flashbacks in here was just OK, but at the same time, just disturbing as Julia confronts Baz when he was seeing somebody else in his house. Um, Pope and Julia have a very uncomfortable moment. And I think it is implying about what the ultimate sin may be, as per se, the final episode with the synopsis, as it says that Pope commits the ultimate sin that destroys the family. And I have a few ideas about what that could possibly be. And they're not all really good at all. Like they're all just sickening. But yeah, the flashbacks this time was just disturbing. Not much else to say. And I would say for my predictions for the final two episodes now is that I think that Pope is definitely going to say that Smurf did the killings between Catherine. I just think that Pope is now going to find a way to try to like get himself out of this situation. I think the final job is definitely going to go sideways. Something is not going to go right. Not everyone is going to have a happy ending. Like somebody is either going to die or somebody is definitely going to jail this time around. Um, as for Jay and Penny, the husband, um, I just think that something is going to happen between that. As for Jay possibly killing Amy and Lena, I think Jay may take out Amy, but Lena is a big no-go. If he takes out Lena, that would be some cold-blooded mess in my opinion. Like, this man already don't care. He would just be a straight demon at this point. As for the flashbacks, I think they're going to show what happens. And I think what really caused the family to get destroyed is something really sickening. Honestly, I'm just worried now about what the, what's going to come next. But yeah, that was episode 11. And as always, just thank you for watching. And until next time.